Hey nerds, how's it going? Welcome back. Good to see you all here for Roboco, out today on Steam. Took a look at this game yesterday, and today we're back for more, and today's stream is sponsored, just like yesterday's stream, by the makers of Roboco. Uh, check out the description to uh, get Roboco today. It should be uh, out on Steam. If not, it uh, will release today. So uh, available in early access, FYI. Uh, this game challenges your mind and your soul, your body. <laughs> to solve problems that only robots can solve. Uh, yesterday we spent a lot of time uh, delivering sandwiches and uh, trying to knock down pinatas, and I did so in a way that was incredibly fun. And this game actually has a few things that make it a little easier to build complex robots. Instead of the game being more uh, simple with its options, it's still pretty complex, but actually gives you a lot of features to make it Make, making those complex parts more simple. So this is a game that has an endless sandbox mode and also a campaign mode. And uh, I love these types of games. I usually don't get into them because usually they're way too complicated or they don't. Uh, there's something about these types of games that usually mm, is a little too, I don't know. It's It could be easier, but then they get too simple. But this one combines both the uh, complex parts with the uh, more uh, simple parts and actually comes out quite nice. So uh, we have to build ourselves a big old chainsaw machine today and deliver some coffee So we'll see how it goes, but there's also some great little tutorial sections for this game, too So yeah, anyway good to see you all back. Yo, Noah. Thank you very much for the 16 months as a raptor hatchling Appreciate that man. You're awesome. Very good. Well good to see you all here ones in the chat for the number one community out there Smash the like and uh, check out Roboco with the link in the description We'll pick up where we left off. Looks like there's a actual, ooh, wait a minute, roadmap in the game? Oh, it opens up a new web page where we can vote on what's next in the game. Oh, that's cool. You can actually vote for, they have a whole list of things they want to do, like first person camera and stuff, but they want you to vote on what you want to see first. That's cool. I don't think, honestly guys, I don't think in, in a, any other time of video game history have we been able to, as fans, been able to develop or rather help the development of a game by like giving dev feedback on it like a discord or voting or something like that devs have plans too and they want to see their game become something special and uh something unique but um obviously if we kind of vote or support certain things they could they know that we like that more and they'll do that first and that's something pretty cool anyway let's pick up where we left off and uh we'll go ahead and continue i think it probably saved it. If not, we can load our design because we saved that. So our goal is to, uh, in our previous live stream, by the way, we uh, went through pretty much all this stuff here. We delivered sandwiches. We did uh, all these little, there's like little helpful tutorial things that teach you to solve problems. But rather than like teaching you a new thing and having you build it yourself, you basically reverse engineer to solve problems on robots in these purple modules. And then the blue modules, you build stuff completely on your own using what you learned in increasingly more complex levels of uh, gameplay that require bits, which essentially is like points for completing levels with more and more side goals. And there's also secret objectives to the game too, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and jump back into uh, Robo Coffee, and then we'll load our design there. See how it goes. Oh, right, we had a drone. Yes, last time I found out that uh, we actually can load some dev-made uh, vehicles too, like the walker bot here and the drone that allow us to fly around. Let's take a look at how this works. Oh, also, uh, there's a Steam store, or rather a Steam workshop uh, connection. So if somebody makes a robot or if you make a robot, you can sh share it or download it or whatnot. And it makes, uh, I guess, solving some of these puzzles more fun because you can also share it with other people. Oh, there we go. So we actually have a walker bot. Unfortunately, I don't think I can control the direction of this bot. Yeah, we, we can't steer it, unfortunately. Only forward and backwards, that's it. Alright, well, last time we were building this, the, uh, the Jitter Juicer-O-Matic, which will basically deliver 
jitter juice, aka coffee, to our people uh, needing it. And this seems to be more like a mobile crane design, which turned out actually kind of nice. We're not done with it, but it's uh, we were able to figure out that we can pretty much uh, pick up creamer. And uh, we're pretty close to almost getting like the 1.0 mark done, so let's work on that then. We'll grab a little claw, I think that'll work good. I think maybe the pincer claw will work. Rotate that. That'll do. Um, uh, we need to be able to control the claw. Ooh, it actually has force. All right, controls. Uh, we need to add a new uh, group for this. Custom keyboard controls. Let's make this space bar. Uh, listening for key press. Well, I'm trying to do space bar. Maybe we could just do the number one. And let's do one and then we'll do toggle Toggle on, toggle off. See if that works. We're trying to control the claw, basically. Oh, I guess you can't do spacebar because that's to go between toggle mode, so that makes sense. So default, this should close. See if this works. Uh, we should be able to toggle. Yeah, that works. Unfortunately, it kind of like snaps. It doesn't really necessarily allow us to adjust it like an um, like a crescent wrench. We kind of either open or close. Oh boy. Hey, what's up, God Killer? Welcome back. Only just have it, I realized the 24 month badge now. Congrats, dude! Thank you very much for 24 months of support. Awesome. Yeah, hey, what's up, Lord Alamore? Hello, everyone. Have fun. Good. I hope chat's having fun. Feel free to throw your suggestions in too, by the way, chat. We're gonna... I have some ideas, and we're gonna see if they work, but I'll reach out to you guys soon enough and see what you guys might have in store. Um, I think we needed to make a new... We gotta make a new command for these, uh, for the wrist, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's try this out. Oh, it's also camera controls. No. All right, so the arrow keys are camera controls. So let's do T and R, maybe? Oh, that's, that works, perfect. And then the open close, okay. And then how do we control the wrist? Yep. I think we, we definitely need to slow things down a little bit. It's way too fast, but things are good. Okay, so let's slow things way down now. I think we got all the controls in here. We just need to slow it on down, Chief. I'm doing good. I'm I'm happy to um, kind of like actually sit down and play one of these games a little more fully. Usually, the type of games that I get into that are like this aren't necessarily like this, but it's close. It's like the bridge building games where it's all about managing materials and like uh, you know stress on on those materials. But this is kind of like a little different. But it's it's the only thing I can. It's the only other type of game that I can that I've played that's kind of close to this that that I've experienced. Uh, all right, we got to slow down properties. So let's do. So this is our uh, the wrist section. 
Target RPM, make that like 10. I think we want to slow everything down. Let's bring it down to 10. We're not in a rush, so we can take all the time we need. Wait a minute. This was set to 10 too and it like blew up. Hold on. Wait. I accidentally deleted that. No. That's a servo motor that I accidentally deleted. these controls. I didn't see like an undo. Uh, it should be these controls. K and J to do that, so spin forward should go up. Alright, let's test that out. Oh, that's like immediate. Control that to maybe 100, uh, 10 rather than 130. Oh, that's still a little fast, but that's manageable. Now oh, let's check weight. seems pretty good. I think if we put a cup of coffee on there, it's not going to be too too much worse. I think we can give this a legit try. Oh yeah, God Killer. Videos of that are on the channel. Also, one of the other bonus objectives is to, like, literally clean up all the mess in the kitchen, too. So in addition to, like, taking the creamer, pouring it into a cup, grabbing the cup, putting it to the coffee machine, then bringing it up to the uh, construction worker upstairs right here, we also have to, like, clean the kitchen, too. And there's, like, a couple other secret objectives. They're, like, on these purple-pink cards. So, like, that's just, like, half the battle. So there's, there's quite a few layers of stuff to do in this game. You're never, you're never running out of stuff to do. Wait a minute, do we have a servo to rotate this? You know what, wait a minute. I never made a servo to rotate the claw. Because I want to be able to tip the uh, creamer from side to side. So that'll be up and down, 
left and right, and then... Okay. Oh, properties. Back that back to 10. motor two we'll just call this uh tip tip motor because it'll it'll tip the creamer and coffee and stuff in there uh if you can shake the vending machine you can give the guy the chips that are stuck really that's another quest too game like never runs out of stuff to give you to do Go ahead and try to what was the name of that the tip motor no we need to go to controls yeah all right so tip motor uh tnr for the for the left and right on that one one for the grab although that was assigned to you let's do um b and v the one. I think I need to make it uh, maybe 90 degrees. I love the experimentation in this. Dude, the trial and error of doing this stuff repeatedly is actually quite satisfying like once you have a particular section of your vehicle done you know like once you build like the chassis or whatever then you're onto the boom and then when the boom is done you're onto the you know you're onto the claw or whatever hey that looks good oh let's give this a shot oh, i remember i actually have the wheels goofed up um We have its D is set incorrectly. Um Young, thanks for the 30 months as a raptor egg, dude. Thank you very much for the big O support. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Okay, so forward is all, for reverse is all. Wait, that should be right. Yeah. It's set up right. That's weird. Mm. Must just be the slipping on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yo, Brittany, thanks for the four months. 
New member, welcome. All right, let's try to get this coffee now. We're good. New member, welcome. All right, let's try to get that creamer. Ooh. I haven't even tried to control, uh, use this game. It seems like you could play the game with a controller and also a, um, like keyboard to build, keyboard and mouse to build, and then a controller to drive, which would be nice, but... I don't love you anymore. Bye. Okay, let's try to uh, grab the coffee cup now. I hope he likes a lot of cream in the coffee. Oh no, wrong button. Oh, that one has cream. I got a penalty for property damage? Oh, I ran over a cup. Okay. Going to jail chat. No. All right, let's do it again. I think I got the controls down a little bit better this time, though. There we go. Okay, let's tip that up a little bit. Ooh, nice. I need to tip the wrist up though, I forgot the control. There we go. Alright, let's get let's get up there to the uh, worker. Oh, breath. Uh, okay. I don't even know why that rotated. Did I? Did I even hit the button to rotate? I think it got caught. Ah, uh, all right, again. Hmm. 
Getting better. Getting better at controlling it. This could be used uh, for more than one job, maybe, in the future. But I feel like the jobs they want you to do are pretty diverse. You'd stick your head under the coffee fountain? Nice, bro. Direct to the source where it's the most purest. Straight to the coffee vein. There we go. Then K to lift. O to tilt. Okay, alright, we're good. There we go. Okay. It's happening. Well, who put wax on this floor? I can't turn on the ramp. There's no way. Okay, we're good. That was close. Careful of the ancient artifacts. Careful. Alright, sir, we made it to you. I heard you had chips stuck in the uh, vending machine, but... Uh, Good luck with that. Let's make sure we save that design. Override existing robot, you're darn right. Beautiful. Oh, he loved that coffee, man. He was he was down with it. All right, new challenges unlocked. Uh, freights in high places and so to me. Oh. So to me. Yeah, he was excited for his coffee. Same with me. The game's chill, too, because, like, you could do some really crazy designs or you could just grab yourself a cup of coffee and, like, on a nice rainy morning, on, a, like, a Sunday, just get all cozy. Oh, we've unlocked gears now. I gotta see what these other missions are. Transport warehouse shelves with care. Lift your pistons. Oh, lift with your pistons and not with your back. Let's take a look at the scenario. We'll scout around and see which ones are more interesting. What are we doing here? 
Are we taking this shelf from one side of the warehouse to the other? Deliver the blue shelf to the back without letting any boxes touch the ground with the pile. Oh, the pallet of four boxes on the shelf. Oh, we're building like a heavy lifter bot. That seems pretty easy. We'd build a flat, low profile platform that could then directly lift. Alright, I like this one. Uh, let's check the other scenario. Hey, what's up, Nikolai? How you doing, dude? Welcome. And the other one is Soda Me. Fetch a soda to provide those sweet, sweet creature comforts in humanity's lazy future. This one might go well with the coffee one. We'll see. Uh, get a soda from the Game Watcher's hand. Oh, get a soda to the hand. Don't damage the soda or let it touch the floor. Don't go into the living room. So that means... We might be able to do... Oh, wait. I'm thinking... Well, I was going to say drone, but never mind. Because we're not, we're not supposed to go into the living room. Like, we're not supposed to be seen. We need to get a drink into his hand, but we can't go in there. So I'm thinking, don't touch the ground is what they mean. Wait, couldn't we just... If we... Couldn't we just reuse the coffee uh, maker thing? It's like, if we're supposed to get him a soda, is that... Unless we have to get it out of the fridge. Let's load the... Uh, let's see how this... This one's interesting. Let's load this design. There it is. Alright, let's go to the fridge. Yeah, we could... Oh, maybe we could fling a soda to him. That's true. Maybe that... Oh, chat, you think we can make a catapult bot? We might still need to open the door, though, the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. If there's an actual soda in there, though. Won't like let me open the door. I don't see a soda in there though. All right, next question then. If we put the boom in there, let's see if that'll work. Okay, so it will count it as going in there if we actually go in there. So you're right. There, we have to build a launcher. Where's the soda? What does that say? Throw waste into the basket without the... Without entering the living room. They want us to take trash on the counter and throw it into the trash can there. Wow. The Fantapult? That's a genius idea. Oh, maybe this dispenses the soda. Ah, okay. So we'd have to have this as a loading platform. Okay, so... So we would back our vehicle here. Then a soda would come out via conveyor. We'd have to, like, load it there. And then somehow catapult it from the kitchen to him. I want to do this one. This one sounds interesting. We'll do the uh, warehouse, too. 
Okay, um... Yeah, a, a cantipult, or a fantapult, yeah. Good ideas. Well, let's start from scratch. Is there a way we can just start new? Let's just, uh, we'll reload the challenge. Can we make a potato cannon? I don't think we can make any sort of, like, explosive, but we can, like, throw things. I mean, we, we don't have, we, we can, like, go into the living room and that'll be fine, but I want to do it without going into the living room. Okay. Oh, it reloaded again. Um, oh, trash can. That's fine. So... We can't really build it higher than that for loading. Can we build, like, some sort of a conveyor? We gotta build a base. Some sort of way to load it. Okay, let's do this. Yo, Silver Freaks, thanks for the uh, 15 months as a raptor. New member, welcome. Uh, egg, thank you very much. I think this can be relatively flat. We probably don't have to go longer than like 12. Well, it depends on the size of those wheels. I like these because they sit pretty high up. drink soda while watching sports bonus points for letting him get a beer instead uh you can make it whatever you want you can you can you can picture whatever you want hmm. now we gotta make a catapult actually we can slow Let's slow the wheels down a little bit. There's no need to be that fast. Let's do, uh... We'll do 50. have to fire when that person was out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of like Besieged, except we're actually building, like, solution-solving robots. Something like that. We have to find solutions. All right, that's good. Let's do a... How are we gonna build a catapult? I guess just a servo motor that can just snap two ways. 
like 90 degrees from flat to like 90 degrees. You know, we should probably make the back end uh, weigh a little bit more. Let's put a heavy block back here. Cool thing is, too, we can paint everything. Right now, we've pretty much had all of our robots, like, white. But we can paint them, which is cool for, like, designating different systems and whatnot. That works. Okay, so let's build a servo motor. Then let's do... The soda shouldn't be too heavy. That's weird, the motor like clips through the other one. North Gaming, how you doing, dude? piece at the end then you want me to put flames on it we could probably do that well right, let's go with a advanced piece where are those uh, rounded pieces there we go all right let's reduce this by one we'll try this piece instead close would a piston shot be more accurate? Um, I mean, we could do that. Yeah, we could get a piston to kind of aim it a little bit more and then, like, uh, like shoot it. Mostly, like, pu pu like, punching it forward rather than, like, catapulting it. Um... We need a different piece. Can we go with a triangular piece? Well, this is kind of what I had in mind, but not quite. I mean, that kind of works. Okay. Uh, soda can comes out at like a... Like at a flat... It's like horizontal when it comes out. Can't make we can't make adjustments to those pieces though. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work. We'll see.
That might be able to hold the can. Okay, let's see if we can uh, reduce. Actually, I just need to turn this off. VR is coming to this game in 2023. Oh, that would be really helpful for building. Okay, we gotta make the catapult a little wider, I think. We'll go with that far back. <sighs> Let's go with the uh... joints, structural pieces. Oh, we could just do this. Goodbye now. Okay, it won't connect like that. Okay. That's a good question. I don't know if there's a mirror mode. Okay, so that fits, but it's a little now it's a little too wide. So we'll just do a uh, something underneath.
Are we winning? Well, we gotta practice loading this uh, can cantipult now. We gotta figure out how far to back up. It's gonna take a little practice. Oh, a little too uh, far. Perfect. All right, so that's good. Now let's work on the servo. <laughs> yeah, first try. Now here's where things are going to get really fun. So... Ninety degrees here. Yep. That's gonna be all about like speed. So let's start at like two fifty. Is this a win or lose type of game? No, nah, you can always win. It just takes time. You could you could always design a robot, get everything done on the first try, or spend hours and hours perfecting like the perfect machine that you're really proud of. That looks beautiful and has like all the features you want painted. See if that's far enough. Too slow. too far, bruh. Sorry. Let's go half. Yeah, let's do like 100, actually. That might be better. It's an adorably cute catapult, yeah. Thank you. I just wish it were a little easier to load. I don't need another. Oh man. Oh well. We'll practice. Ooh, that's pretty close. That was pretty close, actually. 
Let's do like 125. catch bro come on that was right to him bro man if he would have moved his hand a little bit more lazy <sighs> lazy all right now we just got to get lucky with our aim i guess the way it's done. Sweet. By the way, that robot's going to cost you 1878 And that's the build cost, so the price only goes up from there if you're too lazy to walk into the kitchen. And that doesn't even include, like, the separate robot to actually open the fridge door and load this one. Wow, that was that was a fun one. That one needs to be called the uh hand pult. Ooh. Oh, we got three stars from that. Or do we what or do we call actually the fa fa Fantapult? That was a good one. I like that one. Ship it. Let's go. Yeah, it's like the price of a new fridge. I mean, a really nice new fridge. All right, that was good. Uh, we need 38 to go on to the next level. Wait, wait, what was that? Oh, I thought there was a demo level. All right, let's do gears. That name was so depressing. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Tan, smiley face. You're the best. I'm not mocking either. True. Okay, now we gotta work at Amazon. Welcome to hell. Out of curiosity, what would happen if we loaded our previous design? Well, we can tip over the shelf pretty easily. Um, I think really what we want is just a robot that's pretty much the width of the... Uh, well, essentially the robots that they show driving around there. Let's do like 20 by... This looks square. Maybe a 20 by 20?
Okay, that works. Well, maybe not because the wheels are going to be kind of wide. Okay, wheels. What do we need to do exactly? We gotta pick up this, we gotta pick up this shelf, bring it across the conveyor. So we, we essentially need to make sure we're fast enough not to get hit by anything falling. Oh, and then just set it down there. Ooh, wait a minute. No, that'll be fine. This is already sitting on legs. Like a glove. Okay. Piston? Oh, we can just do one big old piston in the middle. Wait, how do we control this piston? What? U and O. Am I going to load the pallet onto the shelf? Uh, I don't think we have to, at least for the base stuff. Wait a minute. Well, we probably do for one of the special goals, but that's, I guess, one of the things we can do about this game is as we play it more, we unlock new types of things, and then we can come back and do missions again. All right, we just need to make this piston a little taller. But you're right, I think that is one of the secret objectives. I just need the basic piston, not the one with the design on it. Okay, we're going to assign controls to that now.
Okay, just a little shorter. heavy okay wait we can increase the torque right ah maximum force okay can we do like point point five there we go I like that we can do points that's good Wait, that's the speed? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that tiny little piston holding that thing up. But we don't have to drive across the conveyor belt either. We can drive behind it. Can we get claws on the side to stabilize it? We can, yep. We should probably slow down the wheels a little bit, honestly. That's better. We're not in a hurry. I mean, essentially, we're moving entire shelving units and not necessarily just uh, boxes. Sir? Okay. Well, that's his fault.
Uh, with the pallet of four boxes on the shelf. Okay. So we do have to go with the extra four boxes. They should kind of clarify. They should say, like... Um... Maybe... Twelve? <laughs> Twelve boxes in total? I don't even know how we do that, honestly. All right, well, that's good. We got more points. Wait, let's call this. Yeah. We'll come back and move the other box. Okay, so now we've unlocked Chrome, th what, Chrome Thumb, Silicon Sonata, and Across the Goo. Uh, Chrome Thumb, who says metal is cold to the touch, bring the warmth of life to the garden. Well, let's see. Wally simulator, basically. Uh, till, plant, and water a crop. What? Grow a crop inside the fence plot. Completely fill both outline plots with intended crops. Whoa. Pumpkins. Who grows strawberries on the ground like that? Take a look at the others. Silicon Sonata. Uh, if music of the food of love... Oh, if music be the food of love, play the cello for a truly romantic dinner. Wow. Pasta and... Fiddles. They're having steak and potato? Or what am I supposed to do? Play the cello to a court, accompany the violin. Follow all the violin bot prompts. Keep the cello upright for a, pe a pleasing sound. What? <laughs> Wait, is he gonna play? Let's see. Uh huh. So romantic with all the rose petals. Oh, we gotta grab the, uh, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. We might be able to use the coffee bot here.
Wrong button. Well, let's put the shell on the stand first. Shell to the no. Dude, this bot can do anything, dude. That's that's better. might have this.
now we're gonna learn how to play. This will be fun. Oh boy. No, damn it. Okay, I'm sure we we're pretty close. Pretty close. All right, that that robot seems like a good fit. Let's try another one though. We might have to figure out some sort of way to like change the attachment. the The robot is good, but the like the the boom arm I need to change. Boom. I like this music, dude. <sighs> Let's try the uh, across the goo. Stop the goo leak and save the day. All goo leaks are simulated and meet Roboco Safety Council guidelines. Trust and safety. Yeah, that one. I think we're gonna have to figure out a way to. Get the hand to move back and forth rather than rotate or go t side to side. Oh, it looks like there's a little ID card cut out on the pipes. Alright, turn the red valve to stop a goo leak. Turn off any green valve to slow the leak. Do not touch the goo. So, I'm thinking we need like a giant, something to match that rotation pattern. I'm 
gonna have to be a claw on like a little a little track and it's gonna have to basically match the wheel and then it can go up and down and then it can rotate in the middle that will work Practice valve. Wait. Um. Okay, so actually the real problem here is... Oh, that's... We're going to have to turn it 90 degrees too. Damn. One, two, three here, and the main valve there. The real problem is how do we get across? And it seems to be either A, the pipes, or B, the incomplete bridge. But it says to turn off any green valve, so. We could do the one on the bridge to the left there. We. What about these small pipes? Oh, we just got to push the nuclear waste out of the way. Oh boy. The music here is dank. All right, let's go ahead and start with a... Hmm. Did we unlock anything from that other mission? Ah, uh, maybe not. Move to ground. We can do a nine wide, something like that. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, Levi, thanks for the 10 months as a Raptor Plus, dude. New member, welcome. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking... Well, we could do a super complex design here, but I don't know if it's necessary. Because we could basically make a um, a main frame with axles, but we don't have to do that. I want to go across there. A nine by ten. Hmm. to be too big.
Oh, right, we can't touch the goo, though. Oh, no. I wanted to go that left side, but we can't touch the goo. So that part's not going to be so hard. Here's what we do. Uh, let's do a medium. Love the beer drop to keep growing it. Been yeah. Like what? That was weird. Uh, thank you, Levi, for the five, too. Appreciate your support, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna put a hydraulic thing in the middle. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, I'm gonna push and pull the uh, bar apart a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. It wasn't even the right super chat. It was like from a, a previous one. But thank you, dude. Oh, maybe something to do with YouTube's... N no. Well, I'm going to say yeah. That should be connected there. Actually, let's make sure we can use this menu. Wait, what? Weird. Thanks, Deanne, for the 13 months as a hatchling, dude. Appreciate the support, yeah. Hmm. New member, I'm, welcome. I'm gonna build a piston that connects these two together, but I can't. There we go. That's better.
Alright, let's give that a shot. Nope, it moved right through. Why the hell does it do that? My thought is to try to get half of the, uh, you know, to bring it to the edge and then try to push one half across. It doesn't seem to recognize how it's connected via a piston, though. Oh, there we go. Okay. But somewhat there. Ooh, what? The game has differential lock? What? Allows the rods attached at either end to revolve at different speeds. You can lock the different different oh, that's the first time I think I've ever seen an elevator. Oh. That's the type of block I wanted to use too. Climbs an attached rod with a connected motor. Perfect. That's what I wanted to use for the valve turn. Now, where's our, uh, where's like our Mega Extendo? That's the one. Let's use this one instead. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now the qu oof, the question is, we're trying to like stretch like a caterpillar across that gap. The friends, uh, it's going to be too heavy when I build all the attachments and stuff onto it. It's going to be. Ah, that's going to be a problem. So if, if I put all this stuff at the front, we're going to need a counterweight, but... i got to first make sure the first design works. Maybe that's not even a good idea. We could also just go here. I mean, this is super easy. We should just do that because the, the path on the left is kind of blocked by goo. The middle one has a gap and the right one's literally a completed bridge. We would just have to make sure that the um, vehicle that we designed is narrow enough. Actually, let's just do this. Okay, we can do that. Just need to be a little more narrow.
All right. Well, that works. Not too bad. We can get across. Uh, what happens if you pull the lever? Will it bring the bridge closer? Uh, this one's a practice valve. This kind of shows you how... I'm assuming it's so that way you can design a robot uh, and get across the gap without, like... Otherwise, it'd be kind of complicated. Because if they didn't have this valve here, every time that you changed your uh, valve section of your robot, you'd have to change the chassis, and that could be bad. That's going to be what we call a bad time. No bueno. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, maybe the lever? Oh, that could be. That might work. Let's test that out. Looks like some electric cable pulls out of the ceiling. That sucks. What's up, Eddie? Maybe the practice valve will, maybe that will actually open the bridge. But we essentially need to make a wheel that's this size. I don't even think we could do that. Wow, oh, and on a small chassis, there's no way. Try this again. A one by ten. Well, we could make the uh, wheelbase narrow. Then we could build over the top of this.
Okay, a little wider. It was close. Oops. We just need to slow down the wheels a bit. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. This one's going to be hard because of this, the size limitations of the wheels. We're in no rush. Double that, though. Okay, so if we go up to 50... Good. I guess we'll use one of these mount pieces. Are we able to install a single wheel in the front and the middle of the chassis? Um, I think we could, yep. We would have to kind of build it into the middle, but yeah. However, here we need to build the wheels on the outside. So we can get all over to this one, but the problem is we're going to have to come in at an angle. Okay, so then we can put a swivel up here. Okay, that's fine. So 
So we need to put like a rotating platform here. want a platform that can move. Well, you just got Roboco. Looks like a lot of fun. I also need to kind of want to learn Oh, Python. Oh, uh, yeah, I noticed... Uh, is that a programming language? Because I noticed that there's programming languages in this game, too. Although I don't know if it's, like, an actual... If you can go into much depth into it. It looks like there could be an option for it. Though we, we looked at it in our last stream a little bit. Sorry, I'm deep in, in thought and trying to... Make, like, a platform above this that'll rotate. But we need to be centered... Wait a minute, I just had an idea. We might need this platform to go forward, actually. Because over here, the idea would be... What I'm thinking about is this. When we get to this side... We can't touch the goo, so what we would have to do... Is we could extend a platform out... And there, there would be a platform, there, the wheels would be here, but the platform would extend this way. Then we could turn it 90 degrees to somehow touch this wheel. This is going to be a complicated mission, dude. This one's going to be good. Because, like, there's a lot of parameters here. Like, the robot has to be small, but it also has to be, it has to do a variety of things. And each of those features is going to add weight. So, I could actually put the servo on a piston with a counterweight. There's actually ways to see weight in this game. <laughs> Heavy duty bearings. Yep. Keep talking, pal. Okay, let's see how this works. Ooh. What if we use the telescopic? Oh, 
Oh, baby. That, that'll do. All right. So now let's add a another platform. Make sure they're connected via a rod. Maybe it's not strong enough. Oh, the top piece. I don't know why that rotated. That's why. Okay. The counterweight here is going to be crazy unless we build some sort of like uh, outriggers to, you know, like legs that come out to the side and then lift it up off the ground. But I don't know how stable that'll be in a game like this. Let's see. Yeah, back to square one. I also like how it saves the camera position you were in when you were, like, uh, editing. Okay, the servo motor will rotate 90 degrees. That'll be our platform rotation. The platform... Horizontal? Wait, Chad, how do I... Horizontal? A, E, L? A, L? Uh-oh. Why does that look wrong? <laughs> Am I spelling that right? Yeah, the soundtrack's uh, very relaxing, very nice. Um. Yeah, I don't know if we want a. Um, and up down on the platform. I 
That's how you spell horizontal? That doesn't look right. Okay. Whatever. Now what I want to do is see how much weight we can put on there before it's too much. Okay. Seems like we need to add a lot more counterweight. I like adding them as separate panels. That's kind of cool. weird how it copy pastes. That's right. Also, this piston doesn't have to be that fast. Seems pretty solid. Oh, the heart emoji thing? Yeah, there's a new... Um, on YouTube, when you guys are watching, if you're looking in the chat, there's like a new little thing you can... Uh, like a little heart icon you can click on or tap on, and then it'll pop those emojis into the stream. You should be able to turn that off if you don't like it, but stay a while and, and check it out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can't turn it off? Oh, awesome. Good job, YouTube. Well, I guess because it's in its testing phase, they uh, probably want people to use it, so maybe they forced it on. Let's see. Okay, so now that we got the platform moving out horizontally, or at least in, we can move, like, in front. I don't want to do that one. I think we're going to have to do... We're going to have to go across this pipe, and then we're going to have to do this one, so we can turn 90 degrees... Or actually, no, we could just, we could park here and then push it out towards that. So now I need something for this. We need something to be able to grab either that... Well, actually, wait a minute. We might just be able to put like a, like a spear or something in there and then just go around. And it has to turn clockwise, so... We would have to... We need to be able to go up and down, so that's what we use the rods for. That red one is about that high. And let's go let's go a little extra extendo. Let's do like a sixteen. 
we'll call it centimeters, 16 centimeters, I guess. So now we need the elevator block. What is a powered block? Mechanical. Ah, oh, that's it. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. So this is supposed to attach to a rod and then move. How the hell does that work? Um... I think it's locked in place. No, oh, wait, no, it can move. It just doesn't do it automatically. Oh wait, no it can't. <laughs> Looks like it either fell down or... I feel like we only need one of these then. That'll give it some symmetry and then hopefully makes it a more balanced machine. What's the control for this, though? Unable to slide. Look for connections. Okay, so disconnect there. control for this though I'm not sure how to control that though oh wait do I need to build one of those uh, maybe I need one of the um What is it, the, the node thing? I like the laser pointer too, because then you can use it to make sure you're like precisely on. In fact, technically, all we'd really have to do is just point at the middle of this thing, and then just have a rod slightly below, and then just rotate. Uh, which we have to rotate. Well, they point clockwise, so I'm assuming that's clockwise to close. That's what we're looking for, the microcontroller. So then... Okay, orange transmitter, there we go. 
platform uh, microcontroller one. How do I control this thing though? Use the four wheels, platform rotation, and platform horizontal. better. Okay, that'll do. And then how do we control this? Now let's do J and K. Yeah, that's good. Now let's slow it down. So that rotates the plat platform a little more effectively. Now, um, I still don't know how to use this damn thing. I don't know how to assign the controls to go up and down. focus on that. Looks like it just falls off. Is this not powered somehow? Can we name the robot Johnny Five? Damn right we can. We'll name him Johnny V, and the V stands for both Valve and Five. No disassembly, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to be able to control... Like, there should be a thing here that says, like, properties and control, but I can't, like, access that? Like, I want to make this thing either move faster or slower. Maybe it's through this. Like, I can adjust what it does, but I want to be able to adjust how I control it. Like, via this microcontroller. This might be it here. Oh, here we go. Now I got a different menu for it. Okay. So this can control... Oh, wait. This doesn't show up as a green part, though. No! Uh, new script. 
um, I don't even know what to call this thing. Elevator? Elevator one. Oh, now, now we're now we're programming. Although it shouldn't even be a program, it should just. Uh oh boy, there's actually API documentation in the game. Wow. And there's your script preview too. Okay, so there is a bit of programming in the game. That's cool for those of you who like that. I think that's a little advanced for what I'm trying to do at the moment. And for my, my small brain, but... Maybe I could use something else. What, uh, what else do we have? A button that senses if and how much it is pressed. Oh, it's a pressure sensor. That's interesting. You could... That, that almost makes it so that way you can make clamps that automatically will lock into place if they touch something. So if you're trying to make a trailer and you back up to something, you can like automatically have it hitch when it bumps into it. That's a good idea. Uh, inertia sensors, LEDs. Game's got it all, man. Distance sensor. Text screen. How oh, will this work? Will it like scroll? Oh, I thought it would do with like scrolling. Hello, chat. That's cool. Well, chat wanted Johnny Five, so. We'll call him Johnny Five. That way. For copyright purposes, probably. Uh, let's see. Green one. I wouldn't be surprised if this somehow added weight to the design. That's cool. Can we actually color that? I think it's just black and white text. Yeah, I really don't think we need a mini controller here. Not sure how we're going to get this thing to... Uh... go up and down though. I'm not sure how to control that. It would be hilarious as if there was some sort of way to use the vacuum to be able to like pull the valve and make it turn that way. I wouldn't be surprised if that was some sort of a... If there was some sort of way to just have the vacuum rotate that. Well, I guess we could... I was really hoping to be able to use this elevator, but a piston will do just fine here. Oh, you think we need to connect another rod to it? Oh, maybe. Hmm. You might be right.
Yeah, unfortunately, I still can't give it controls, though. And it kind of just falls down like it's not connected. I don't know. We could just use a piston because we can still pretty accurately control things that way, I guess. Oh well. Yeah. Can always change up the design anytime. It's another good thing about saving designs. Yeah, let's make this That's about right. Okay, so then let's add a servo mo yeah, motor. Well, not that way. We can change it. Hmm. Do we add a piston to the end of that instead? I think I want it to rotate here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can have it go back the other way. Can I point this down? I bet we can. Yep. Then we just disconnect it. Perfect. Just run a wheel against the outer edge of the valve to spin it. Now that's a good idea too. Man. What's up, Coach Anthony? How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream, man. Chad, that's a good idea. The wheel idea might be really good. I was thinking about just putting like a piece in there to rotate, but... I guess it depends on how hard the valve is to turn. Let's try that though. Let's actually get a... Let's get a feel for it. Then let's do a... Uh... That'll be interesting. I just want this wheel going all the time, though. And since it's got to go... Oh, it depends on which way we're... This one's going to have to go down. That one would have to go... I think they're all counterclockwise, or clockwise, so the wheel needs to spin down rather than t'other way around. Now 
then yeah righty tidy lefty loosey yep exactly and then we could just have this go the whole time five and six should not be linked to any control they should just go on their own I think these could just go the whole time. I guess we'll have to make an input for on and off. So let's do... Uh... Actually, wait a minute. Oh, we can just toggle it. Okay. Let's just make that I. All right, let's see if that works before we mess around with the platform. Let's make the wheel a little bigger though. A little too small. But it works. Good job, chat. We'll go over with medium. Ooh. That's the medium size. Will see, still seem to be tied to the other controls.
we go. Now, if we had to pull up to this thing 90 degrees. It's kind of hard to hit it perfectly, but... It's close. Do things need to be 90 degrees? Yeah. I see what you mean about like creating a V for the wheels. We, I don't think we can do the wheels at a 45 degree angle. Well, we could create a... Uh, a wheel on either side here, though. Oh. Well, it's a little too... close. That's per that's perfect. The only thing is that little thing might get in the way, but all right, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, let's do uh... the DC motor seven and DC motor eight are there. So seven's got to be associated with the... Seven's got to be toggled on. because they're not set to start on. And then these just need to be removed from the first control list.
Alright, that's cool. So now... We need to adjust the uh, control direction. Give it a try. Well, it kind of works. It actually is working. Hmm. Hey, what's up there, Ooze? How you doing? Yeah, we're going to need some more weight on the bot for sure. But where do we... Where do we put it now? Overall, the bot is pretty heavy. Uh, light. It's pretty light. To make it heavy, though, we could definitely add some more weight to the... Uh... To the midsection. The wheel thing is a good idea, but it's not like... It's not giving me uh, the grip that we want on those uh, those wheels. I feel like that would work. We just got to toy with it more. But let's try to go with a... Uh, piston type deal.
That's a pretty solid platform right there. Now all we gotta do is... We'll put this two on. Not a full 360. Uh, we'll have to do the rotator then. We're gonna have to go with the telescopic here. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to add some more uh, weight for sure when we add more parts to it. That's for sure. For sure, bud. There's the telescope. That's looking pretty good. Then we'll just do this. Is that spinning the right way? That's got to go the other way. So let's reverse the direction.
So this is set to be on. We don't want that. Um. Okay, I think we might have a winner here. We just need to slow it down. So that needs to slow down. Yep. As for torque, I don't know if we can adjust that. It looked like it was locked. Max torque 200. It looks like I can't change that. Uh, let's add a little piece here, though. That should give a little more reach into the pipe. Now we gotta control these. L for out, K for in. No. Yeah, we need to adjust that. Okay, I don't want I don't want these controls on this one. I want a new group. I had to turn on rotation. Okay, we'll do F. G. B and V.
Pretty good. And then the last one will be R and T. Okay. Uh, we'd still have this one down here. Running out of running out of buttons. Do Z and X. Now let's see how this works. Wait, I got an idea too. Check this out. We're going to put a laser in the middle of that so we know we're pointed right at the valve. Leave it always on. Oh, baby. Would you look at that? I think we need that end section on a piston. Oh, but it works. Okay, so we'll just replace this with a piston. Piston number 3,468,000. But it works. Uh, and we'll do a telescoping. That's brilliant. <sighs> I think we could just leave that one on toggle as well. That's yeah, a little too a little too much maybe. I should have labeled all these, but I need to make sure it actually works before I start typing everything in. And this piston can literally just be...
Um, that's fine. This one a little bit more. Pretty damn good. Okay. Um, well, let's see if we can actually get it to use. Problem, boys. Damn. Wait a minute. No, we don't. get it. Well. Now we just need the perfect run. I think what we could do here too is increase the wheel speed a little bit.
First try. <laughs> All right, we're good. This valve's actually down a little bit. We might be able to get it to work. Never going to turn off. I'm not even seeing a change to the, uh... Oh, there we go. Alright. Done. Alright, on to the last one. 
Let's see how this works. Hopefully this one's easier. There we go. Woo! Gotta remember the key to extend the top one. That's the one. Yes! Oh my god, that was frickin' W, yeah! That was a $5,000 solution. But damn it, it worked. Ugh. Oh my god, that was awesome. Dubs. That was some dubs. <laughs> Woo! Johnny Five. He's still alive, Pog. I, th I, I thought we were going to touch the goo with the, uh, with the end of that. Alright, a couple changes we could make is probably shorten the piston a little bit on the main unit so we could l go down a little bit lower. And then uh, a couple other minor things. But it, it worked, I mean, within the wheelhouse, what I was thinking. That's good. What a cool machine that was, dude. I think the, the best part was the, uh, the stable wheelbase kind of bringing out the platform and then being able to rotate like 180 degrees. That was pretty amazing. Uh, oh. 55 points and we unlock Dance Dance Robot Revolution. Oh boy. I don't know what we're going to do with wooden chips. That's so... That one's so tough. Alright, let's try the cello bot. Oh, how romantic.
romantic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> the music. All right. Um, so I think the only thing with this one is that we got to create a robot that it needs to go back and forth on the cello. I need to figure out what they mean by, like, play the cello. Like, how, how do we do that? Okay, sir. This looks like guy looks like Thurston. We're at Thurston's house. Okay, there we go, there we go. Well, so much for that. thing was designed to lift a cup of coffee, not a cello. about as good as that's gonna get. There's a button over there, I wanna push it. And there's also fire.
Not ready, sir. There we go. And we got it now. Oh, come on. A little property damage is sexy. Come on. I forgot what my controls were for right and left. On the horizontal, what is it? JK? Make it count. There it goes. I have a little I have a little wrist piece on the on the crane arm that I wanted to use so Oh you want to play together? Okay. It's freaking beautiful. Okay, we had it. I was trying to figure out that that would work perfectly. There's a wrist control on here that would go back, back and forth. I don't know what the hell it was. Was it? Nah, whatever. Love is impossible, chat.
Impossible. <laughs> All right, to be to be fair, this thing was designed to to make coffee. Uh, it's possible with that. So we know the coffee one can totally do that one. We just need a um I just need to re like reprogram it so I can do the the back and forth control. Uh, we need 55 to get that one. How many more would we need to do? What is that last star from? Is that from doing all the secrets? I feel like it's... These three are from the main objective to sub-objectives. These two are from the best time and budget, and then the last one is getting all the secrets, I think. But maybe not, because then this one... Oh, maybe. No, this one's got it all. And I didn't find any secrets. I have no idea what you would do for that. How do we get all the... How do we get all the stars? Um... Oh, the pinata one is hell. Oh, I think these are recommended parts, too. Like, this is the bristles, and that's the saw blade. That one recommends the four-point clamp. Three-point clamp. Hmm. Yeah, better than a Keurig on wheels, that's for sure. I want to know how to get all the points. Let's try to go back to the first one. Maybe it's a time thing. Actually, with the first one... Uh, I don't know anything about that at the moment, Panda, but, uh... Uh... Wait, what is this bot? Oh, this is the sandwich bot. I'm just not sure how to get that last objective. It's not related to the secrets. Ah, the cello. The hello. Although we already have a word in English for that, which I now want to convert to goodbye. Like, I'm not sure what missions are each here. Like, this makes sense. The first one is your main objective. The second one is your first secondary objective. The third one is the second secondary objective or sub-objective. Money and... Time, but then what could this be? It can't be related to secrets. Maybe it's about budget. Is there anywhere to see what that is? Yeah, the, the objectives are the first three. So the main objective, two sub-objectives. Then I think one has to do with how quickly you beat the mission and how under budget you... I don't even know if there's a budget. Wait a minute. Our best here for what's 3,581. I mean, I could go under budget by removing the head of the robot. Hmm. If we remove the head of the robot, it'll lower the price by 150 or whatever it is. Sandwich, sandwich, sam, 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 sandwich, 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 BLT, BLT. 
All right, chat, what's the best sandwich? If you could order one free sandwich right now, what would it be? to do oh i see one score related okay so that's where it comes in at so main objective is a thousand two side objectives are two thousand each and then there's one i don't know how it's basing the score on time and money Eighteen thirty eight, maybe that's seconds. Uh, the only other way to do it would just be to continue to lower costs on other robots, removing stuff that just wasn't necessary. Oh my god. Dude, the, the 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 vacuum one? No chance, dude. No chance. That one takes forever. Robo coffee. I wonder how what we would do on this one. The only uh what are the side objectives? Raise the platform onto the other shelf. Philly, Philly cheesesteak, nice. Oh, a Cuban, ooh. Oh yeah, today is National uh, Sandwich Day today. Good point. Good point. Now we gotta deliver sandwiches from the uh, International Warehouse of Sandwich. Oh, there's a hidden objective there. Put a hard hat on the worker missing one. This guy? I'd have to get a hard hat from here to there. Huh. Does he walk around? Oh, no. Impossible, bro. I love how they move around like a marionette. Like a kid's first experience operating a marionette. Okay. So we gotta move the whole shelving unit. Whole shelving unit needs to move. But also we need to get this up here. Oh, there's an objective there under the... Hmm. What does that one say? Find the what now? Find a place where mice live. Disneyland? Oh, this robot needs a full, like, pretty much 99% redesign.
Okay, so for this bot, we need a couple of things. We need a way to... Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we're going to go to a Chuck E. Cheese. If chat's good, I'll, we'll, uh, we'll bring tokens. I'll, I'll give you guys tokens. $2 each, though. It looks like we literally need to make a forklift here. It would have to pretty much touch the ground. Hmm. Wait a minute. No, that's not going to work. We could I'm I'm wondering if they need to be on the pallet. Well, it says with the pallet of four boxes, so it's. Got, I think the pallet's got to be included. Literally says it. So, hmm. Get into brawl. Pilot Pro, you just won fifteen hundred tickets. Yeah, dude, that's enough for the uh, to look at the eraser. Prices went up, kids. You can look look at it through the shiny glass. Ooh. Trying to think, like, what? How do we? All right, Chad, you brainstorm, and we'll uh, we'll think of a way to get those boxes on there. Bears? Come on, chat. Uh, make the wheels liftable, then lower the platform with the forks. Ooh. I like the way you think. That's a good idea. All right. Hold on.
I think I I think I understand. Uh, give me a second to think about. Okay, this will work. And by one. Wait, it's two. What is it? Two? This is going to have to be a piston, I think. We don't have to put the... We, we could put the boxes on the shelf, but we don't have to. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pistons. We need to use the big, uh, let's use the big telescoping one. Where is that one? Power joints? There it is. So how wide is that? Okay, that's going to be fine. That's not enough. Okay, that'll do. So... Is that going to be too wide for the... No. That two? Yep. Alright, I think we got it. Are we limited to using four wheels? No. We can use as many as we want, but I think the more wheels it is, the harder it is to turn. Also, we have some obstacles to go around in the uh, warehouse as well. Those are way too much. These ones might be better. 
Are these left hand, right hand side? This thing's starting to look like a scarab beetle. We're close to a breakthrough chat. Close. Come on, boys. Doggy, how you doing, dude? Guess as long as those pieces don't break off. Now, on to powered pieces. We need the extendo. Oh yeah, we could, yeah, that's true. We could do like a whole like steering uh, thing with servos, yeah. I mean, luckily we have a pretty big warehouse to build around. Jessica B. With the big O5 bomb. Wow, Jessica. The B stands for bud. What a bud. Thanks. Thanks, bud guy. Jessica, we gotta play more prop night. I want to. We gotta wait until, like, uh, Bradford and uh, Lumberjack and a few other people are, like, free so we can have, like, a full game. Thanks again. Exclamation point uh, Jessica B2 in the in the chat if you guys saw her a couple of days ago on our other streams. You want to join for the prop hunt? Okay. Android, you can join too. I also want to do some more uh, Parkitect on the channel as well. There's so many good games out there like that. This one included. This is a fun game as well. I, the, ooh, could you imagine this one multiplayer? Now, see, that would be interesting if your friends could make up challenges or somebody could make a challenge and then everyone could work together to try to solve it. That would be pinnacle. Could you imagine the disaster? The disaster. If you put the wheels normally put on the left side and then the wheel under... Oh, you want me to make it narrower? Uh, well, we... Uh, about as narrow as... Well, I think we're going to make it about the width of these boxes here. It's pretty close. But it has to also slip under there. Oh, wait a minute. These boxes won't be able to go under there. So what we'll have to do... Not sure. What are we making? Uh, we're gonna make something that can pick up a shelf and move it to the other side of a warehouse, and then also a pallet of crates all at the same time. Or, yeah, we could put the pallet on the shelf, too. This thing's going to be hilarious. It's going to be up on these narrow, super narrow uh, <laughs> stilts, basically. Let's do five. Wow.
You know, actually, I wonder... Um, yeah, we probably have to complete the main objective for the secondary to count. I don't think we just bring it over there alone. Well, we should be able to get that pallet <clears throat> right on top there. Let's go ahead and make it adjustable. Uh, let's see. We'll do R for the extendo. Uh, the problem is we need to be able to get forward, and I think I got an idea. Um, if it works, we'll see. Check this out, chat. Ah, uh, it's going to take a while to prepare, but... Yeah, it looks like 90 degrees will cut it. want the ones on the right side to be different.
think I forgot to flip one. There we go. Now let's just make sure it reaches. Controls for the servos. Well, Let's finish it up. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these. So it's K and I for those? I think we got it. If we don't, we'll have to... Oh. Okay, we just have to add some crazy counterweights, that's all. shelf here chat for stability It needs to be it needs to be equal though. <laughs> you have to drag itself. Thank you. 
Oh boy. I think it's safe to say it died to death. <laughs> Can we get an F in chat for uh, the uh, the bot? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, belly rub is needed now. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh well. I think uh, all we need to do is just drive it better and then we can get it up there. Laying down on the job. Oh well. When we return to this uh, job, this robot will load again. Uh, the only thing I think we need to do is just um, work on balancing the weight and then it should balance out. And then we'll be able to carry those pallets in front of us and the, sh uh, the shelving unit on top of us. But anyway, that is all the time we have tonight for RoboCo. So thank you very much, chat, for being here and always supporting the channel. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks to Jessica B for the big O gift bomb and everybody else who became members and all the super chats. You guys can check out uh, RoboCo with the link in the description. It'll also be in the comment section after the stream, too. So check out for it. And uh, this game's out today in early access. Lots of fun. Lots of things to build, lots of ways to improve, and a sandbox mode too. How lovely. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Friday. Yeah, it's finally Friday. So I'll see you tomorrow bright and early for more big O streams on the channel. And uh, hope to see you all soon. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. I'll see you on the Discord, otherwise exclamation point, Instagram or Twitter. Follow me there. Come say hi. It'd be awesome to uh, have you all message me on the Discord for other games you'd like me to try or just to say hello. I'll see you all soon. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, buddy.